Hey everyone, Zeno Simmer here, and welcome back to Pokemon Rush Dungeon Rescue Team DX. We are preparing to Rise Sky Tower. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I knew this is I know this is upsetting some people. I know it's definitely upsetting some people. And the people upsetting are probably going like, you son of a... <laughs> and then just, I don't know if they're laughing or if they're just angry that I've purposely used the other form of steel. <laughs> Let's go. Ah, good of you to come. Huh, what's going on? What is Zatu doing? It is almost ready. The teleport gem. Teleport gem? I really like this thing's design. It is made. This, this is the teleport chip. This will deliver you to the world of the sky. Now, Zeno, accept. Zeno's team received the teleport gem. This was made using power of psychics by me, Alagazam, and... Oh? A ghost-type Pokemon we received help from it gone away it seems who can it be <laughs> it must be bashful let it be now I must ask you one last time this journey will be fraught with considerable danger will you still go of course we have to persuade Rukwe to destroy that falling star if that will bring peace I'm willing to give up my life that's my wish yes and when that wish comes true, Carnivore said, You can return to your home world, human world. This will be my last adventure with Ivory. Zeno, let's get this done. Alright, that go. We're counting on you, Ivory, Zeno. That ghost like Pokemon? We never get to know who that is. I wish we did. Sorry, this is a really good song. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Where are we? Where are we? Wow, Zeno, this is cool. We're on the clouds. Oh, wow. Zeno, look up there. I love what they've done. I wish we could see this again. But this is the only time we get to. It's a huge tower of clouds. Sky Tower. So, it's at the top of the tower. That's where Quasar is. Zeno, let's do our best on the climb. Let us go. Sky Tower is unique. At least in this game. First off, Sky Tower has a lot of ghost types and a lot of flying types. Oh my god! Uh, but Sky Tower, randomly, can have any weather effect. Any. Sandstorm? Can happen. Hail? You're gonna be seeing hail a lot, because apparently I, for some reason, get a lot of hail. You son of a bitch. Sunny can happen. Rain is probably one of the best for tr to get to not worry about dealing with traps. Ghost types and flying types fill this place, so you're gonna have to watch out for Pokemon for the ghost types because they have they are the worst because 
they can just decide, you know what, let's just go through the wall and curse you. Thankfully, I believe, thanks to me giving Steelix Hyper Beam, oh, you. I'll talk about Mass Green soon, but if you but if you got Hyper Beam, I believe you can hit them, but if you can, then that's just me mixing up. Masquerade! This is the updated version of Masquerade. This thing is actually tough and actually kind of threatening. Don't hold back. In the original, this thing's a joke. In this version, worry. God. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah, there's also Lunaton and Soul Rock here. Oh no. That's another thing to worry about. Might as well talk about Hyper Beam, because Hyper Beam's unique. Hyper Beam, there's two versions of Hyper Beam. There's what I like to call the giant hyper beam, and then there's the normal hyper beam. Normal hyper beam is just a beam move that can that hits in a straight line and is really powerful. The giant hyper beam is only usable by giant Pokemon and hits not only through walls but also hits multiple Pokemon. You can see why I call it the giant hyper beam. We'll get to Jill. Why? You got. Oh my god. You've got to be joking. I hate this. Oh my god. Stop it! Oh my god. Stop it! Stop it! Oh my god! You asshole! That actually really irritated me. Seriously. And that's why I love I know, but guy, it does show why I like hypnosis, but why I also bloody hate it. Because it just used a revive all orb. Yeah, I have to do this. I am so sorry, this is probably going to be the one dungeon where I absolutely rage. Oh my god, really? Oh my god, that... Really? Oh no, 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 no.
I hate the Spartan Force can give us big apples instead of like actual useful stuff. Uh, uh, anyways, I don't really have much else to say now because that, that, that hypnosis thing is literally tilted me completely. This will probably be the one episode where another, the second episode where I have to, to probably go and revive myself. And here's Hale. Great. Hale is one of the most annoying things to deal with. Oh, there goes Duskull. We want to try and. Hopefully get. Uh, I almost said, dust plume. No, what? Try and hopefully get dust skull with curse. Curse is really good in this game, and it will help us against the fight against Rayquaza. Because we can tell Rayquaza is gonna definitely be fought here. Oh, you gotta be joking. Oh my god, really? And we'll whisper. Don't use anything. We'll switch to me. God damn it. And we've got to just find the stairs. You know what? Actually, I can think I can change. I was not expecting a wheezing. You know what? I'm doing it right. Other options. Finding the stairs. Because I don't want them to be exploring if I can help it. Oh, great. This one might have it, but also might be one of those po- Alright, Curse won't- Arrgh. I realised cur they wouldn't use Curse because- <sighs> And it doesn't fight us. Oh god. Roll call orb. Oh, 
really... <sighs> My god. Anyways, I can at least, now that I've kind of slightly collected myself, I guess I can actually probably start talking about the, the actual dungeon proper, I guess. Sky Tower is probably one of the longest dungeons w that you'll see in the main story of PMD. Out of all PMD, out of probably some of the PMDs. I don't think it's the longest, because I believe... Explorers beats it by like one or two floors, which is weird. Why? Ivory, why? Glad I know I can't do anything too much against Luton, but god damn. I am sorry, I am so tilted, but god damn. This AI, this AI, this entire game has decided that it does not want me to beat this game, apparently. It apparently wants me to have endless, 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 endless episodes of this game. I am sorry, game. Wait, is this the first time getting... Alright. Not really useful. Oh, God damn it. Oh my God. Switch for a plain seed. Confusion. Thank God. I was worried. I believe we're we're either at halfway. You've got to be joking. We're either at halfway or getting close to halfway. Oh my god, we almost got hit by sky attack of all things. Honestly, charging moves against the, the, being used by the enemy Pokemon are never effective. Embargo just means we can't use items, which honestly means nothing because we're right upstairs. Oh my god, what is with this this generator? I'm getting I'm getting placed in places not near stairs. 
Now, I'm not expecting to be placed in the series all the goddamn time. But I'm expecting to be able to, like... My god. My god, this has just been a train wreck. I won't lie, part of me wants to restart this because... The practice run I had of this, which I don't do practice runs that much, if at all, may I point out. Nope. Nope, we're not we're not gonna be able to get Altaria, I don't believe. Oh my god, really? And this is why movement meant movement speed became a separate thing. We'll get to the worst of it soon, because I can at least talk about something that you can technically do. Trap bus orb. Okay, it's not bad, but it's not like super amazing. <laughs> That's the first blast trap I've stepped on. You've got to be joking. You have got to be kidding me. Like, I'm not expecting to be giving. get. being given. Okay, unless I'm wrong, can someone please tell me how many how many times I have run, I have spawned into a floor that has oh my god, do I have don't believe I took any orange berries because I don't usually need orange berries. This is the one time I do. You have got to be joking. Nope. <sighs> You've got to be joking, seriously. Nope. I am not dealing with that. I'm not dealing, not risking that. Really? Alright, that's fine. Yeah, this this run's scuffed. I guess this will be where the episode ends. Okay, it won't. I'll be stitching off, stitching on an episode later, a part of the second part of the episode, onto this. But for you guys, there'll be a cut. See you then. Back. No. Let's go. Uh, this is going to be really, really annoying. So I rescued myself with my personal team, which really was not that bad because the team I sent is near level 100. So the team doesn't feel fear. Have a lock. Uh, 
Uh, I'm just hoping we can get... You have got to be joking. Seriously? Really? Thank God. This will be helpful. Floor 20, and this is where things really get tough. Right. Why? No. We need this. Dust clops. Okay, this is the first time I've ever... I don't think I've ever noticed that they could do that. They're, they're a ghost type that can be... This is actually freaking me out. <laughs> Why? That, that, that dust cloud thing, that dust cloud is literally just messing with my mind. I thought, I thought all ghost types couldn't be heard by normal type moves. This isn't the original games where they could, but was so minuscule mount. Right, oh, armor can't be used. And I can't do anything. Sorry, Steel. Right. Oh. Welcome to the worst Pokemon to end up running into. Aerodactyl. On its own, Aerodactyl's not that bad. It's when... It's when it comes in... Packs? In multiple... When it comes with multiple air other Pokemon. That's when Aerodactyl becomes scary. That's the best way I can put it. I <laughs> and the reason there's one, there's one big reason for it. The big reason is. They can learn agility. Now agility isn't too bad since it's the new version of agility. I hate having to clarify it's a new version of agility, but it's true. But this is where things get a bit cruel is the best way to put it. 
Oh my god. The one... <laughs> the one room. But this is where things get cruel. If Air Dido goes last in our room, in a mo let's say a monster house room, for instance. Those Pokemon get in the return. And this is what I like to end up, what I like to call, call the last agility strategy. This is a strategy I use in post game, and I will be showing it. I thought it was 30 floors, not 25. All right. Uh, I'll quickly finish what I'm saying. The last agility strategy requires you to have a Pokemon with agility linked to move, but also go last in turn. This is a strategy that's high risk, high reward, but you get at the minimum um, out of just three Pokemon, eight, 11, 11 attacks at maximum, all linked, and you get to do that three more times, so you get f 44 attacks, I think? I'm bad at math. Of course, of course, I haven't actually fully utilized this because honestly, the only, I don't trust the AI. <laughs> but theoretically, if my plan is correct, it is what I've been, what I plan to be using in this playthrough. Probably because I only started realizing it. When I defeat the last boss. No joke, I beat the whole game and had the had the epiphany of, huh, what would, that would be useful for the last Pokemon to actually use that. <sighs> but, anyways, we're at the midpoint. So, this is Zeno and Azuma of Rescue Team Mystery. Preparing for a long and painful final battle. See you guys then. I'm gonna hate this.